Lance from Marin Gaming playing Final Fantasy Rebirth. This is episode 2. Finally came out. Been enjoying it. Reminds me a lot of the overworld in Final Fantasy 15. I have a bit of a cold, so might be nasal sounding and. Might mute myself a lot because I am. Coffee. Okay, we were working on getting everyone's items set up so that. Whoops. Um, start astray so we can get the proficiency. <coughs> Ah, so that's where those skills are starting to show up. How did he get prey? How did he get assess? What is that? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have prey, so... So if I sneeze or cough, and I don't get to the pause button soon enough, I apologize. But yeah, I'm so happy to see that we have an actual overworld. It's like everybody has a communication tower. And we're looking for a chocobo. Apparently that's, we don't know where it is. I'm like looking, 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 but. Like is it way the heck down there or something? I don't think so. Interesting that it puts it on the south though. Yeah, let's start looking.
they give me any clue? Hey, good job kicking those tables, Aerith. Oh, that's right, chocobo tracks. And feathers. Awesome doing the actual tracking. Those look like real tracks, too, not like weird. Bingo. Yeah, that one far. come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. My guess is it's the Keep one it with a saddle on it. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you are in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, you can press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract chocobos by throwing stones you pick up. Left aim and square to throw. <coughs> Sorry, I might have been on mute. Saying we're going full on Legend of Zelda here. That was a close one. Crap. And they all go. Great. Well, at least it starts me there. Seems awful loud. You want to throw it at him? Have a guy show green. Oh, isn't he just? 
just the cutest? <laughs> Similar, totally. <laughs> uh huh. What does he want now? More guys who greens. Maybe he's still hungry. Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <laughs> and there he goes. Back to the ranch it is then. can go up there but I can't <laughs> well, the live stream tells me to go this way is a feather out of place got one healthy bird here oh there's a bunch of feathers all over the path so though I wouldn't try till he's done eating once he's had his fill though I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him this ain't that right I'll need to prep his gear and all that so why don't you wait outside oh we all gonna ride on a single chocobo because that can be healthy Hey. Hey there. What Chad, a pleasant surprise. Chadley, yeah. It's Chadley Opera. You do remember me, don't you? Yeah, you're an android. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. Cyborg? I thought it was just straight up AI. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Sounds like you are taking a page from Legend of Zelda again. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. Which is fine. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the towers close by, allow the Chad to module. <laughs> I 
Here we are. Fast learner cloud. Yeah, no, that's kind of a full on copy, but I'm good with it. Nintendo's good with it. Power activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. And thus beginneth the completionist. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Chad Lee will employ the data you collect to develop new material, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Act may activate the Rimna Wave Towers you encounter to help Chad Lee deepen your understanding of this world. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons, once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, nice. after pouring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the tower in Colossus known as Titan. Yeah, Engage Titan. At your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, they also tell me where to, to go. Find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Ah, yes, I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. Spells very At Final any rate, Fantasy. I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. Let's see, what is that? If you still have questions about world intel, please ask Thir away. Thirteen, yeah. And I was. 
Yeah. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? Morning, welcome back. With each piece of World Intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? Nope, Shelly, I'll get you all your merit badges. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Fire and ice. No, I'm spending some weird currency. That I only have 20 of. Auto cast materia. Spell with link material and not actively controlled during battle. That's interesting. Maybe he's helping his followers. Defeated. Allied automatically using equipment, so not actively controlled. I kind of want that one. This one. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. Got a feeling. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Got a feeling to completion this, this game is going to take a long time. Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with the data he needs to update the simulator with combat challenges. Complete these challenges to start and provide a free reward, such as powerful summoning material. Speak with Chadley, access simulator. Got a little robot. Cloud. Chadley. I have recreated Titan. Let's do it. Colossus of the Grasslands in virtual space. Probably I kick my trash. You to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Let's do it. Titan, man. I haven't seen Titan in a long time. Ooh. Bunch of combat training too. And look at that. Emerge victorious against these mighty enemies in the combat simulator rewarded with their summoning materia. If an entity is proving too difficult, you can gain an advantage in battle by analyzing its corresponding summon crystals found around the world. Look at Titan, man. He looks awesome. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. Titan. Let's get Aerith for healing. I don't want Cloud. Nah. Let's bring in Teeth. Oh, we need a shooter. Should have set their abilities. Hiya, Lizard22. I'm gonna say your name right. Been great, how have you been? I only got like four hours of sleep last night because of this awesome game. Ooh, and I'm getting my butt kicked. Use a heal spell over here, Aerith. Some of these will occasionally find your party members with impossible attacks. If your character is found, they will act quickly switch to a different character. Uh, not daily. 
um, weekly is probably closer. The game will end when all party members' HP reaches zero. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll check it out. Be sure to use potions and healing spells to regenerate HP before it is too late. Uh oh, you have a cure. Here it comes. Press C1 of the four action buttons while guarding with R1 will execute a synergy skill. Each of these skills functions just differently. May require you to hold down the post line button or tap in quick session pressing. Pressing giant what button while guarding will provide information on the skills. These commands do not consume ATB, but better help fill party members' ATB gauges. Furthermore, performing certain synergy skills for the first time on the cloud will improve his relationship with his teammate. Four action on R1. This is what I do all the time. Execute a synergy skill. And that's the end. end of the line. And my controller turned red. <laughs> try one more time, let's try one more time. I always try three times before I give up and grind. No one has 
That was fun. Yeah, he's way old. OP. Let's try some of these. Participate in the combat similar training exercises to learn not only the ins and outs of battle, but also how best to utilize the party member. More such exercises will become available as new allies join your team. Note some of these simulations will allow you to use abilities you may not have learned yet. Nice. Tutorials going on. Press square to attack an enemy, dealing damage and filling ATP gauge. Press R. Our bumper. R1. To block incoming attacks. Three circle move out of harm's way. So if you block an attack, reduce the amount of damage taken, fill your ATP. Block the perfect timing. Turn the attack back. I already know this. Great to be able to gradually kill over time, but mining attacks make it go faster. Let's start up two ATB charges. Press X to open the commands menu and this many ATB charges to activate abilities, gas spells, or use items. When command menu will activate tactical mode, slowing down time and allowing you to choose commands at your leisure. Hold L1 and press one of your four action buttons to quickly use the ability or spell set to that shortcut. Shortcuts can be set in combat settings and actions section of the main menu. I like the block thing. I don't know if that was the thing in the original in Rebirth, but there's hard to, to lock on a specific target such as airborne enemies or those that those difficult to draw beat on due to their speed. Use R. To switch targets, press R3 to disengage. A different character will sometimes provide an advantage battle and alternatively you can continue controlling the same character while ordering your allies to attack. Press up or down and left right to switch characters, press L2 and R2 to issue commands to allies. That's new. Know that you can switch characters even while guarding. To, cha to change who you will call it, you control the start of the combat, go to combat settings in the main menu, select the character and press Triangle button to designate, designate them as hard to beat her. Bring it! Hang back! Certain abilities such as clouds, triple slash, and Tifa's focus strike can be used to take down posts in the air. Man's mark with 
that symbol can be utilized while airborne as well as those marked with that symbol, which launch a grounded character into the air. Note that not all of your party members can fight while airborne. Deal with that. Yes. Give me HP and the MP back. Come here now. Yep. With enough damage you're exploiting an elemental weakness to place it in your pressure state. This happens. Pelt them with magic and abilities quickly fill their stack gauge. Which is located in the life bar. Discover enemy's weakness, use this S. Which cause focus thrust, spare its focus shot, and teeth its focus strike, and quickly fill the stack gauge, especially when used on a pressured foe. Don't overdo it. About damn time. I got this. Fill the stack gauge will mobilize your foe momentarily, leaving the headless and more susceptible to damage. Use triangle unique abilities on stack enemies. Quickly fill up your ATP gauge. Once you have the ATP gauge charged, you need to at least devastate the task to finish. No Don't mind if I do. Ain't got nothing on me. Let's keep going. And then we'll go back and try Titan one more time. Then we'll go explore the world. Hopefully we're through the tutorial. Nope! Assassin names. Cloud's triangle unique means switching holds while fighting already in between. I'll bring a motor punisher mode. <laughs> yeah, I tried that. No one let me do it before. That was being operated well. Try with me and operating quick vision punisher mode. Necessary now with these guys. That's that. Nice. Nice. No time to celebrate. So with that um, dynamic mode where it sees how good you are at something, and then makes the enemies harder or easier. I wonder if that eliminates hard mode. And is hard mode the maximum? Or is there even harder than hard mode? So many questions. None of which are explained in this tutorial. Forks.
Yeah, see, yeah, I like that. Ring the doorbell. Hold on a sec. <laughs> 